20. <laughs> it took 20 ant lengths for the ant to reach from this starting point to the sugar cubes. Hey, no ants were harmed during the filming of this video. <laughs> to be more precise, I could use a measuring tape to measure the distance between the starting point and the sugar cubes, which is 20 centimeter. Huh. So the ant was 1 centimeter in size. Interesting. It was pretty easy to measure that distance, wasn't it? What if I had this ball, which I rolled, starting from here, over to here? How far did it roll? Easy to measure. That's about 59 centimeters. It's very easy to measure when distances are accessible and when I have a measuring instrument that's handy. But what if this ball, I threw this really, really far away? Jupiter! <laughs> How do we measure the distance to Jupiter with a scale? Because the scale can really not reach that far. Actually, how do we measure distance between any two planets? From Earth to any planet? Now, while we cannot go to Jupiter ourselves, we can, of course, animate and imagine it, we might be able to send something there. For instance, let me show you. Earlier, I threw a ball at a wall. I was playing catch with the wall, but to measure the distance to the wall. The ball that I have, by the way, always travels at a constant speed of 12 meters per second. Now, when I throw the ball to the wall and it comes back to me, it takes some time for it to go this way and then back, right? Let's look at the time it took for the ball to leave my hand and come back to my hand. It took half a second. Interesting. For the ball to leave, bounce and back. What does that mean? I know the speed at which the ball was thrown. Remember, 12 meters per second. And now I know the time that it took for the ball to actually move that distance. You can find that distance by multiplying speed with the time taken. So the speed was 12 meter per second throughout the motion. It traveled, ah, 0 0.5 seconds. That means the distance was 6 meter. Beautiful. But the ball traveled 6 meters, agreed. The ball traveled twice, right? Once from me to the wall and then from the wall back to me. That means the distance between me and the wall is half that measured distance or computed distance. Six, half of it is three meters. Unfortunately, like I faked earlier, we can't throw the ball to Jupiter and expect it to come back to us. What is something that we could send to Jupiter and... Uh, just, sorry, excuse me. Hmm. Call from London. Ooh. Reject. Sorry, in the midst of a video will call back. Cool. Sorry about that. Uh, do you guys... No, no, wait, wait, don't retake. That was so cool. I got a call from Europe, London, all this while. Wait a minute. Audio and video signals that we watch and listen to on the mobile devices, or in fact, even television or radio. These communicate, travel across cities and continents through waves called radio waves. Now, these waves have to travel at a speed of approximately 3 lakh kilometers per second in vacuum. That is the maximum speed, by the way, that anything can travel with. Fixed speed. Interesting. So, we first send some powerful radio waves towards Jupiter. These waves should hit Jupiter, bounce off its surface and travel back to Earth. Interesting, but uh, I can measure and I can see, but we can't see or hear radio waves directly, right? We use really powerful detectors to detect the radio waves that come back, bounced from Jupiter. Once they're detected, we can know the time taken by them to travel to and back Jupiter. When scientists actually tried this for the first time, right, this experiment, they measured that the time was approximately 4,000 seconds. 4,000 seconds. This means that it approximately took 
2,000 seconds for a one-way trip. Radio waves travel 3 lakh kilometers in one second. So in 2,000 seconds, they would have traveled 2 lakh... Uh, no, wait, wait a minute. So that's 2,000 seconds times 3 lakh kilometer per second. That is 60 crore kilometers. <gasps> wow! Jupiter is actually 60 crore kilometers away from Earth. Whew, that's quite a number. But don't you worry, just like we have centimeter to measure small distances, meter for regular, kilometer for long distances, for such long distances, we have something called the astronomical unit. One astronomical unit or AU is approximately the distance between Earth and Sun which is about 150 million kilometers or 15 crore kilometers. So we can say that the distance between Earth and Jupiter was measured to be about, there you go, four astronomical units. This technique of using radio waves to find distance is known as radio detection and ranging or simply radar. Radar, by the way, isn't just restricted to measuring distances from Earth to other planets. We can use it to find the position of asteroids and other celestial bodies. And even closer home, to detect aircrafts that are in the sky. You know what? Huh, this tiny ant, 20 steps, 20 centimeters, or 20 ant lengths was 20 centimeters. Can you tell me how many ant steps would make one astronomical unit? <laughs>